you know, often we hear about the changes in, in, in East Village and whatnot. And it's funny because I wrote this in 1980 when the punks were coming in. <laughs> it's called St. Mark's Place, East Village. Sidewalk cafes blossoming up and down the block, once known as a haven for the abstract, looking more and more like Bloomies every day. <laughs> Lily Whiter in the politics of the once liberal community that inspired Abby, Andy, and Alan. The most unique beat in Manhattan is now pounded by oversized young derriers with green and purple hair. Dojo, Eat, Angelica's. Is she co kosher, cries Teddy the Butcher. The magic of the five spot, circus and the dome are a thing of the past. Let's see what the new wave offers besides perms, plus cots, and performance artists. <laughs> <laughs> called Painted Lady of the Evening on a Cold Day. Coal, K-O-H-L, drips from her eyes. The texture of the tears scratch her stiffened fingers, running cold from male glances, trying to get out from under the procurer's rain. I don't know, I haven't read this in a long time, but it's called Women who weren't tall enough to reach the counter. Uh. Culture. <laughs> Born after 1958. Children lost in a generation without any depth, clinging to the lifestyles 50s and 60s have set. Appearing sophisticated beyond your years, searching for guidance amongst your peers. Parents are dolled up like they're 22, living their lives vicariously through you. Pressure is mounting, must find a hip cause to relate, growing tired of decadence and being sedate. Seeking your goals in rock and roll havens, meeting producers, directors, all claiming to be mavens. Fashionable clubs ambiance reminds one of wartime Pyrie, PM punk poser, AM seeking BA degree. Real world escapes you upon graduation you'll see. Common sense has no limit, doesn't require a fee. Marrying rich is once again the fad. Phony producer will trick you, get you pregnant, fat kid. <laughs> and lastly, the Abby Hoffman Monument. Pass the flame to those who remain. Abby who gave his all, tearing down the walls of confinement, the courtroom walls, the Pentagon walls, through levitation yet. But then, they always wore hot air balloons, always at the barricades, never afraid to be free. Abby's spirit is one we all should share. His living monument exists this very day in Tiananmen Square. It was written a while ago. Uh, and if he were with us now, you better believe he'd be there. Thank you. <laughs>